Evening everybody. I don't know if you can hear me very well. Let me know in the comments if you can. Let's have a little catch up on the chat. Eugene, good evening. How are you? It's nice to have you on. Um, hi Kat, Dean, Andrew and Laura. How are you doing? Yeah, Andrew and Laura are in. Andrew's downstairs. Laura's obviously downstairs busy, busy serving everybody. Dorinda's on, hello. Let me know if you can hear me okay. We've got Andrew to turn the music down a little bit for us. He is gonna come up and join us. He's just getting us a couple of drinks. So how have we all been? You can tell everyone what we've been doing today, Dean. You probably saw on Andrew's live what we got up to today, to be fair. Cyan Park. We were in Cyan Park. We have had a great day, but we are both shattered, aren't we, Dean? Okay. Hi, Kat and Dean. Sound is great. Thanks, Thelma. Thanks for letting us know. We don't have the microphones like Andrew, so it's difficult for us to know. But I need to stop leaning on the table because I keep shaking the gimbal. Evening, Kat and Dean. Hope you're having a great holiday. We are. Thank you so much. It's gone way too fast. We've got... I don't think it's gone, it's gone quick or not. Fast, no, I think fast. it's flown. No. I think it's flown. So we've got Thursday, Friday left and then we fly home Saturday. So I just can't believe how quick it's gone can't believe how quick it's gone but it's been like a com complete brain switch off it's been really nice I think that's what we love about coming to Tenerife is because we know it so well we know where we want to eat we know what we're getting ourselves in for when we come we know exactly what we're getting so it's just it's so relaxing so relaxing you don't have to worry about oh did we pick a good hotel or oh, is this restaurant going to be okay we just we know what we're getting we know what we like sound and picture all good be in Sign Park. Yep, Vinny, we have. We've been to Sign Park today. Had a brilliant time. Dean and I have filmed a whole vlog of the day. We haven't like done daily vlogs of this trip, um, but Sign Park, we have done a vlog today. Filmed on the slides and everything, didn't we? I'm gonna do a bit of a video, a bit of like an informational video on whether the yes, yes. Here we are. waiter Andrews just dropped off a pint for Dean. Uh, gonna do a bit, bit of a video on whether the all-inclusive VIP ticket was worth it. Um, it got us the park entry, an unlimited fast pass, and all-inclusive food and drinks, including beer uh, and locker rental, didn't it? It was, it was pretty good. Pretty good. 109 tuned in. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you're all in a good it's evening. It's not, it's not too busy. It's nice. How is it? It's a. Uh, yeah, it's nice, nice. There's enough people in. Not rammed. Hello from Ken and Roberta in Canada. Oh, all the way from Canada. Whereabouts in Canada? If you're in Alberta, I'll be extremely jealous. Hi from New Zealand. Hi, Anne Smiler. I always, we really want to go to New Zealand as well, don't we? Me, maybe more than Dean, but I really want to go to New Zealand. Stephen Coffey says, hi guys, hope you're well. Someone fell out of a ring. Owen fell out of the ring on the rapids at Tyne Park. Very funny. Well, we've we've had Garvey almost do that, uh, but not no incidents like that today. Um, tell us where you're watching from. Hi, I'm watching from Northern Ireland right now. Candy, hello to Northern Ireland. Yeah, where is everyone watching from? Tenerife is doing you good. It, yeah. It is. It's nice to come. We've not really had the, the weather that we hoped for, being it's honest. Still nice, uh, today and yesterday have been fabulous. Uh, before that, was in this stuck in this little pattern of getting cloudy at lunchtime, um, which wasn't what we wanted. But it's still better than being in the UK. So, how long are you there for? Enjoy heading to New York for Patrick's Day. Any travel tips? New York for Patrick's Day that is going to be a ball that's gonna be a scream I heard the New Yorkers absolutely go nuts for Paddy's Day yeah um, travel tips New York I've only ever been the once haven't you you've been once been twice. Dean's been twice uh, tips for New York no, I don't really have any that spring to mind. By the, the we did, when we went, the travel. it was 2017 that we did it. So you, you're going back a while. Um, but when we went, we bought like the New York City Pass. I don't know whether that's so bad. That sure. included so many things to do. Um, like your top of the Empire State Building, top of the rock, a boat tour on the Hudson, loads of museums, 9-11 museum. That was really good value for money. So have a look, see if they still do that. 
uh, sunny Birmingham. <laughs> How is the weather in the UK, to be fair? I don't actually, haven't kept tabs on what it's been doing. How has the weather in the UK been? I'm sitting here complaining that it went cloudy, but we have been having like 20 to 22 degrees most days, so. What are we doing? Are there? you doing anything for St. Patrick's Day this week? No, no. Well, well, actually. I'm doing the Liverpool half marathon. The day after we land, Dean's probably, doing yeah. Dean's <laughs> doing a half marathon to celebrate it. Are you gonna do it dressed as a leprechaun? No, but I'm gonna wear green. <laughs> Yeah, no, we um, we missed the the big carnival parade because we're flying home Saturday, so that's on Sunday, so we missed that. Missed Paddy's Day and Buddies, which looks like it's going to be a scream as well. Got all kinds of Irish-themed cocktails and things like that. Um, so, yeah, we're missing out on the... Uh, Here go. Oh, my Laura Collada as a well. Do you want to show it? Laura Collada. Honestly, you can't beat it. If you listen, if you listen you're like, no, that one that goes down. If what goes on the It did go down a little bit before. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Oh, well. right, okay. Um, so we'll just have to keep talking over that music. Liverpool play Manchester United this weekend in the FA Cup. Yes, they do. Fingers crossed for a Liverpool win. So Andrew's asked if I want to show the menu. What would you guys, let me know in the comments, what would you guys be drinking off the menu? So I've got the Laura Collada. What would you be picking? I can also vouch for the Up All Night. That's probably my second favorite. Uh, the Night Strider is also pretty good. Pretty good if you're in the mood. I like sweet cocktails generally, but that one's got like a, a zing. And if you're in the mood for that, Night Strider. Uh, Bahama Mama is also, well actually, I said up all night was my second favourite, but I have I've made it my mission to try most of them whilst I was here. Uh, Tenerife C, another good. They're all good. I've only been trying the premium ones because I like the fact that they're all sort of themed after my dad and Andrew and Laura and Tenerife C. Dorinda would be having a strawberry daiquiri. Let's have a look. The key lime pie martini. I've not tried that one yet. Key West one is also really good. Um, and then on your classic cocktails, you've got an amaretto or a bourbon sours, a buddy's martini, Tenerife sunrise, Tenerife sunrise, which I think is a bit like a mm, on the beach. I think. I think it's based on what's in it: Quantro, orange, lime, grenadine, all the tastes of the beach. So I think it's a thingy on the beach. <laughs> Uh, a mojito, a margarita, or a daiquiri, yeah. You can either have a lime, a strawberry, or a passion fruit. Ooh, passion fruit daiquiri. <laughs> there's too many, there's too, we've been here for two weeks. We've been in here most nights. Dean and I are not night cafe people. We normally eat and then go back to the apartment, chill on the balcony, usually with a brew. We are not big drinkers, you know that on this channel. Dean likes a pint, but we're not big yeah. nightlife people. Which is why we love going to places like Canada and things like that, where you know it's not about the nightlife. So even in Tenerife, we normally home by ten in our pajamas, having a brew on the balcony, and you know listening to it all going on, but not being amongst it. But we've been having a nightcap most nights because Buddies is our kind of place. Yeah, it's it's chilled. Well. It's around the corner. It's chilled no compares or karaoke or anything like that no yeah it's just it's our kind of place and so yeah two weeks most nights and i've not even really made a dent in the cocktail menu so if you like your cocktails this is the place to be oh proper night strider night strider has rocked up with a night strider a flaming night strider. Andrew, good, anyone would think that you were hot based on this cocktail. It's good, isn't it? That's how it comes. There's a bit of fire going on. That is very cool. Original. You need to put these there. Bit of fire going on. It's gonna set my hair on fire okay? if I give it a taste. All good, thank you. Gonna go set my I'm gonna let that flame go out before I get my hair on fire. We can blow it out. It looks good, but it looks good though. I'll leave it burning for now. It's good, isn't it? 
I like it. Night Strider with a Night Strider, there you go. So yeah, what would you all be having? Let's have a look what people said. Uh, Dorinda said strawberry daiquiri. George, hi. Glad to have you on, you're always supporting us. We don't go, it doesn't go unnoticed. The names that are always uh, popping up. Matty would be having a passion fruit daiquiri. <laughs> a bit of singe. <laughs> did, it, did anyone, did a bit of my hair singe? I hope not. Nah, you smell it. Yeah, it's just true. <laughs> He's made up with his flaming cocktail. Just I get a chance to video in the door. <laughs> yeah, what would you all be having? Let me know. You know what we're having? Dean's having a pint. Go on, if you're gonna have a cocktail, what cocktail would you have? Come on. Oh a Dean does like an up all night. An up all night, you get one? He likes an up all night. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll it. turn it round that Andrew in. Hi guys. Hey. Do you move up, your head? Get the buddies in. Up all night. Stride on. Someone wants a Malibu and Pepsi. Someone else wants a Fanta Zero. You can get all that stuff. Our top one but, is on uh, Catherine. Catherine's is the best. This, is the it, it's top seller. Followed by mine. But they're all, they all go very well. Though. The Tenerife Sea is getting very popular now with the little gummy. The Tenerife Sea is really cool. It's just not my type of drink. It's strong. It's like strong, the Tenerife Sea. <laughs> so that's why it's not, maybe not made for me, no, but others would love it. <laughs> still, it's just gone out. Go. What is it that burns in it, Andrew? Uh, see, I can't tell you. Oh, it's a secret. secret. People secret. are stealing ideas otherwise. Oh, Will you tell me later? I'll tell you later, yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a top secret. 154 people tuned in. Thank you so much. If you do want to hit that like button, um, it really does help out the channel. Uh, so yeah, I think I, I, need, I need to try a, a blanket. We got blankets. Oh blanket. yeah, go on, go and get a blanket for Dean. I'm all right, but Dean, I think needs one. Where did the cardigan go, Dean? Fresh blanket for you. Ooh, did you say freshly washed? It's a fresh fluffy blanket. Oh, fresh fluffy. They are fresh washed anyway. They're dead fluffy. See? Oh, everything. You can tell he's from the UK. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now he's got one out now. Everyone wants one. It's <laughs> a bit of a breeze tonight, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get cozy under there. See, this is what we'd normally be doing anyway. We'd go up the apartment and then we'll sit on the house. Lady knows that Dean works in John Lewis. Jumper, oh, see, if this is a reference back to Andrew's library and just kept repeating the word jumper at me, honestly. Is petrol okay? It's petrol. Well, oh, I don't get it. Do you mean the colour of the thing is petrol blue? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Someone wants a flaming mo. I don't know what one of them is. I don't. Oh, is it Arthur Simpsons? Simpsons. I think. Can't speak. Uh, espresso martini is the way to go. I've never had one. Have you ever it's had an espresso it. martini? Dean looks cold. Yeah, he's got a blanket now. Problem solved. Ask Andrew where his jumper is. All the best from cold Dublin. I'll ask him where his jumper is. His beloved jumper that he would shut up about last the other day when we went to the fair. Did everyone watch that live stream of the fair, by the way? Me and Laura went on that carousel ride and Andrew missed it because he was too busy in the queue for a drink. So, didn't get any footage of us. Dean is our witness that we went on that ride, didn't we? Me and Laura smashed it. Get a cocktail, Dean, everyone's saying get a cocktail. Everyone's saying get a cocktail. Espresso martini makes me eat the loo. <laughs> Is that because of the coffee? <laughs> that is. Brew, tea or coffee? Uh, tea for me. I Especially if it's, be if it's bedtime, it's got to be tea. Decaf tea. Or even better, the Yorkshire tea bedtime brew. <laughs> <laughs> that will be us on Saturday night, Dean. You'll have to catch stuff. No more Laura Coladas. No more Night Striders. No more up, up All Nights. I don't know how popular... Can you reach that menu? 
I don't know how popular the the Garvey wall banger is. Garvey, I've not seen him on the chat actually. Where is he? He'll be. Drop him a text. Oh, it's bingo. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. a Wednesday, you'll be playing bingo. The Garvey wall banger as tropical as Garvey shirt. A vibrant cocktail of vodka, orange and liquor galliano. I don't know what that is. What's your favourite Chinese food? Mine is sweet and sour chicken, boiled rice. Uh, it depends what mood I'm in. Depends what mood I'm in. Usually crispy chili like chicken crispy or chicken, chicken satay or something. Something along those lines. Yeah, you're gonna get a cocktail. Come on. No, because I'm a lightweight, so I'm having a cocktail. Will you try the Garvey wall banger? No. Please. I'll get one tomorrow. <laughs> so I need to have our tea. Yeah, we've not even been for tea yet. We went to Cyan Park, which closed an hour earlier than it advertised on the um, on the website. The website said 10.6, and then we thought we had another hour to enjoy the wave pool and everything. And then it was shut, everything was shut at five. So we were a bit disappointed by that. Um, and helped Andrew collect a car from the airport, had a shower, rocked up at Buddy's. That's been our evening. Do they sell mellow bears? No, they do not. <laughs> I don't mind a mellow birds. I don't like, if you don't want anything strong. Looting a three nil up. Who are Luton playing? Uh, Bournemouth. Oh, so you... We need Bournemouth to win, but the Luton are winning. Still the lowest, though. Oh, dear. Uh, no more instant at the airport today, I hope. No. Yeah, Dean. <laughs> Don't even go there. <laughs> Just... After last week as well, when Dean told me I'd scratched Andrew's car when I hadn't funny how life turns out that, you know, Dean ended up scratching, scratching Andrew's car himself. Funny how that turns out. So if you were here and you hadn't had your dinner yet, where would you be going for tea? Where would you be headed? Would it be Tandoori Hut? It's an option, isn't it, Dean? Tandoori yeah, Hut? Yeah. Not been yet. Tandoori Hut could be an option. Uh, Zocco's around the corner is another option. Uh, where oh, else? Lakanda, another option. No, we had overseas the other night, we're not going back there again. <laughs> Empire, do you know what? We do love an empire, but it's it, you, you've got to have your reservation at least a couple of weeks in advance. So if you are coming out and you want a British empire, um, yeah, if you want an empire, get it booked soon as. Uh, we looked last the other night, was it? And the only time we could eat was 10 pm, and it, it's just. A decent Chinese because I love it. Yeah, well, overseas is decent Chinese. There's, a, there's loads of decent Chinese on the island, isn't there? A lot of people would be going to Tandoori Hut. Takeaway pizza, walking home is a winner. Yeah, but you can do takeaway pizza at home. We we like eating out whilst we're here. We particularly enjoy when we're here. We seem to cram in quite a lot of Indian food because there's no decent Indians by us is there? Oh. What's been our favourite meal of the trip? Vegas Grill. Yeah. Vegas Grill. It's got it all. It's got really good desserts. We've had been to a couple of places that have got lovely main courses and then nothing for dessert which is fine. But Vegas Grill is just got everything. It's got, it's got a good selection. Yeah. It's... How are you getting on? Striding on or what, you know? Well, we're not striding on because that's your channel. Just been there speaking to some lovely subscribers. He has, he has, he has. Oh, that's hitting nice that after a little day in Siam Park. Anne and David are trying to come down, but they can't get yeah. a taxi. All right, on your way. David and Anne, get down. We'll look after you. <laughs> There's a shop waiting for you. There you go, from me. Little <laughs> shop for you. <laughs> Vegas Grill, food and drinks. The staff are amazing. They are indeed. Love a bit of Vegas yeah, Grill. Yeah, that's been our favourite meal so far. There. I think tomorrow night. We had to chill out last night as well. Yeah. Chill out was lovely. Yeah, we did. We had yeah. chill out. Again, had a lovely fillet steak. Couldn't, can't get off the fillet steak in there. Yeah, I was tempted to get a chicken skewer in a uh, chill out, but again, you can't get steak like that at home. So ends up with steak. I tend to go for the things that I can't like repeat at home. 182 people tuned in. Uh, glide on. <laughs> 
squeeze in here. Any <laughs> chance? Uh, well, yeah, if you do that though, I'll like the comments. <laughs> feel like Dad. Uh, hi Una, how's it going? El Bracera across the road, it does. I need to give it a try. Apparently, you, you don't know what sort of uh, service you're going to get, Mark. You can be in a good mood and a bad mood. Everyone says that. Apparently, you don't know what you get. So, in terms of filming it, Mark, I don't know whether he'd be happy with me filming or not. He's a bit of a... He's meant to be fantastic, but you can go in one day and he's Is that like, true? Yeah. It's the same guy who's owned it for years, and he's, uh, I think he's a bit bipolar by the sounds of it. It's, so you, you uh, can't... makes the experience interesting. It, ma oh, it sorry. makes... Sorry, you can get past the right Sorry. <laughs> it makes the Thank experience you. interesting because Thank it you. might be horrible to you. Well, I don't know how he'll take filming, I don't know. People tell me all these stories, they go back and back. Yeah, because uh, who's great? But he you like, like mix it, being like, he should make it to one of those restaurants where they like deliberate Like Karen's? Yeah. yeah. Didn't I want to go to a Karen's just to give it a try? I've, do you know it's if I It's the male version of Karen and oh. it's the male version of a Karen, what do they call it? I don't actually know. I don't think I know. So there's a male, that's like a male version of a Karen. What's Steve. the male version of a Karen? No, I think it begins with K. I think it's an Andrew, you know. <laughs> Um, what's, someone will know it. What is the main, the main, they have a male version. Eugene saying that you did a very good vlog in Florida at half six, Andrew. Thanks very much. No. Florida folks. What were you up to on that vlog? A day that we, we've never done any of it before. We went, well, we did the outlet, which we've done before. We did War Wars for coffee and breakfast. Oh, yeah. The gas station, never done that. Uh, went to Trader Joe's supermarket, never been there right. in your life. Yeah. That was really good. Then we got a taxi show for service, never done that in my life. That was really good, I didn't drive. <laughs> taxi show for service to Epcot. And then we did drink around the world, which I've never ever done in my life. Now, there you go. how did you do the drinking around the world? Because I watched a TikTok or a reel, one of the two. TikTok, getting bigger, told you. Short form video of people drinking around the world. Right. And it was four of them. Yeah. Oh, Hello, Laura's, Laura's come as well. Up. Laura, you for a quick second. Sorry. Every time you make it, it gets better. Yeah, we should just stay a bit. Again, it, did, it yeah. just gets better and better every time I have one, She's honestly. a little bit today. Honestly. And I've been asking everyone to be back and more than it. Well, me viewers have jumped since you appeared, Laura, so everyone's here to see you. <laughs> we want Dean to have a cocktail. No, I won't. I'm alright. Get to right. a little warm hands. I'll split it with him. I'll split some oil. Or, we've got a question for you all actually because we're thinking of, a, we're thinking of new cocktails coming up. We need to think of a cocktail that comes with a little, little cheap toxic waste. <laughs> I want to do something fun with it where you can have it or you don't have to have it the once. Something sour and it comes with the sour sweet on the side. Toxic waste and you can have it. Oh, do you know what we've got downstairs? Blackcurrant um, syrup. What about a blackcurrant yeah. sour with a little um, black No, black uh, Blackcurrant sour, it's going to be sour, but you have the, the toxic waste sour sweet on the side. Because I was thinking of making a new cocktail with that blackcurrant um, whatever, syrup. And maybe having two layers, so one red, one purple layer. Maybe we can make that nice and sour. Mm. We're always coming up with fun idea. I bought some stuff to do on cocktails the other day. I won't tell you what they are. I, was, I just saw them, so I was like, right, they'll go in the cocktails. I'll put a few bags of them in. What's funny is Andrew's picking and them all up, but, but, you don't, but you don't make the cocktails. No, but you know. <laughs> Every don't time I bring a snack into where Jose goes, oh, the cocktails, I'm like, no, for me. <laughs> Yeah, there's some, some new cocktails. You can either make Dina a surprise. I'm going to try that cocktail now. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Toxic. 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 Hundred dollars for a drink each in each pavilion. Well, we didn't do a drink each though. Right, so you I split think the drink drinks. E drinking each is excessive. Well, we just saw we got some of them. We only got one drink, and we all had to try a bit. Right. Others. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Isn't normally, it? like two drinks. Okay. Two drinks at a, a place, but we try and get them different. Mm. So I think in Germany we only got one beer to try. But then in Japan we got a couple of different things, a carver and something else. Mum's on, how's it going? Mum would like a Laura well. Collada. We've just been talking about you, up. saying that you're, um, you'll be too busy playing bingo to join us in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, 5 -0. 
So which was your which was your which, which country was your favourite drink? Well, you have to watch the vlog, won't you? Okay. Tell you what, it gets full of that dribble. Dean cocktail is a beer with a hole in the glass so it runs down your top. I did not just use the <laughs> Love and Laura's enthusiasm over the cocktail. Cat the music I'll just got loud, so hope you don't get a strike. It's, it's, it's certain songs go louder than others, I don't know why. Someone saying the toxic waste needs to be clean. Possibly. It's gonna come with a little sweet on the side. Um, but that was really going to get as funny as it goes. There's one drink that Dad had, and I, me and Mum are rolling around laughing <laughs> in the American Pavilion towards the end. We are just waiting for it to start, Mum. Bingo. Bingo. Uh, we thought you meant the lime. I was like, you're a bit behind. It's been on for 25 Dad minutes. Dad loves it when 5 0 comes out 50, and they all go 5 0. 5 0. 5 0. <laughs> he loves it, honestly. <laughs> Don't Sings along really loud and everything. Don't scratch the glasses, Dean. I mean, it's probably more likely to smash them than scratch them. Yeah. Uh, everyone's saying evening to mum and dad. Get Dean a Vindaloo cocktail. Bingo at nine, play your cards right, is for £400 a night. You best win it then. <laughs> no frothy milk in your tea lately, Mr. Garfield. How do we donate to Dean's charities? De post your link in the chat, please, Dean, so people have got it. So he's raising money for Cats Protection League this year with the marathon. Um, Cat and Dean, are you planning more Disney trips? Can't wait to watch Andrew and Laura's new one tonight. Uh, currently not got any planned. Never say never. Nothing planned at the minute. But we do still have all of our Florida series out there. The travel day's up. I am well aware that I am well behind with the rest of that trip, but it is to come. Uh, and there's also a Disneyland Paris trip that needs editing and uploading. So if you like your Disney stuff, just because we're not planning to go anytime soon, doesn't mean that there won't be Disney stuff coming to the channel. Uh, so if you do enjoy your Disney stuff, please do subscribe and keep your eye on the channel. Travel Day for Florida is already on there. The Halloween Horror Nights vlog is already on there because I uploaded that in time for Halloween. So you can watch those two and then the rest will be coming very, very soon, I promise. The next one's almost finished editing and then it came away. Um, and then, yeah, we've got loads of fun days that day. We did a day at Bush Gardens where we did POVs of every ride we went on. That's to come. Um, so, yeah, no current plans for Disney. Don't say, never say never. I think we'll probably try and head out to Disneyland Paris for the Christmas celebrations again because that's kind of becoming a little bit of a tradition for Dean yeah, and I. November. We keep trying to say Andrew and Laura to come with, um, but yeah, it's a bit tricky for them with work and everything and getting to Paris from here. Um, but yeah, I think probably at, at the least there'll be a, a Paris trip in amongst there, but that'll be later on in the year for the Christmas, the Christmas stuff. Um, I binged all your vlogs and I've got none left. Sorry, Sonia. Honestly, I am gonna, I'm gonna crack on with them. I promise. Does Mick Garvey get royalties with the Garvey Wall? But of course not. He doesn't get royalties with the vlogs either. You know when Andrew has him doing all these things, he doesn't get any royalties for that either. <laughs> One day he's gonna copyright strike Andrew for all of his appearances. <laughs> We are anxiously waiting to see the rest of the Disney trip. Thank you, Ken. And uh, honestly, I uh, I'm doing my very best to uh, get them get them edited. It's just with work and everything, it's a bit tricky. Dean has shared his um, just given page. Like I said, he's running for Cat Protection League this year. Big Brother needs to be put in room 101. Um, get it? No, not really. No, Dad, I don't get it. Uh, Mick Garvey needs to go, oh God, imagine Dad and Big Brother. <laughs> the problem is this year it's Celebrity Big Brother, so he doesn't make the cut for that. As much as he thinks he's a celebrity, he's sort of celebrity. especially when he's on this island, he thinks he's a celebrity. Um, he wouldn't make the cut for this series anyway. What day is free pints for subscribers night at Buddies? It's tomorrow, <laughs> isn't it? It's always, there's always free beer tomorrow. Oh, the sign says it, free beer tomorrow. Every day it's free beer tomorrow. 
Uh, got my two boys from CPL, where they, they are very worthy of course. Hi Kat, hope you're having a great time. Could you or Andrew try promenade, promenade bar on the front in Lost Chris, please? It's great food and stuff. I'll, I don't think Dean and I will get a chance now, but I'll mention it to Andrew for you. He has more chance than me. You need to read 1980, but Dad, I, I, you're very off topic here. <laughs> Da oh, don't. He's not TikTok famous. He's had one video have some minor success. Okay? Dad is not TikTok famous. Can we just bring him back down to it? <laughs> I don't think Celebrity Big Brother takes on people that are TikTok famous somehow. So, oh, unless they do. I'm not a Big Brother fan, personally. Okay. Dad's currently bragging about how he should be in Celebrity Big Brother because he's TikTok famous. Is he? <laughs> he might be getting posted actually on um, a certain page soon this week. We'll see. See if it happens. He could be getting shared and posted. As if people need to see more Mick Garvey. Mm. Your surprise is on the way, dude. Someone said, does he um, get rights for the Garvey wall banger? Uh, no. And I said, he doesn't get rights to the videos either, where uh, Andrew's made a fool of him. <laughs> uh, what else Are you working off Wi Fi or SIM card? SIM card? SIM card, which is what Andrew gets frustrated about because my SIM card on data roaming works better than Andrew's yep. SIM card from Spain. Miles better. Your cocktail done. He's a YouTube legend. Is this Mick Garvey or Andrew? <laughs> What's your favourite 80s TV programme? I wasn't alive in the 80s, so I don't have one. No. <laughs> don't have one. Petition to get Garvey in what? Into Big Brother? No, he do he everyone says he wouldn't. He, oh, no, he wouldn't. As soon as he couldn't have a nap or. Yeah. No, any minor inconvenience. He's also get himself cancelled within five minutes. This is the new cocktail that we may add. Give that a go. <laughs> What's it going to be called? Toxic waste. No, we'll see. But you've got the <coughs> there's your little uh, sweet on the side. And how many of these did you come home with? Yeah, quite a few. A bit of fun. Can I try you like one? It? Yeah, it's very like currency. Yeah. Currency? Mm -hmm. Is it sour? Is it zingy? What do you think? It could be more sour, but I like okay. it like that. Let me have a go. Can I try a toxic waste? Yeah, it needs a bit more oomph in that, doesn't it, in terms of sourness? Watermelon, I'm going to go for watermelon. You have Dean's toxic waste then. Yeah. Okay. It's only one, one sweet pear drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and well, Dean try did try well, one. No, Dean. at the same time. I want both of you to do it at the same time. See, how, see who cracks first. Okay, if we both eat one of these, can we have some donations to Dean's CPL charity, please? <laughs> Go on. Get them down, yeah. Dean, the other day when he tried one of these, was like rubbing his jaw. Yeah, it hurts your ears. It hurts your ears. What flavour is yours? Mine's watermelon. Black cherry. Hit the thumbs up as I well, guys, if I'm going to eat one of these. Come on. It's got to be worth a like. To be one. I think I want cherry. No, I'll eat your watermelon. If you haven't tried one of these, <laughs> try them. They're gorgeous. And they're only from America? Um, I think you can. I think get everyone's going to see right now one. they are not gorgeous. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, Catherine's cracked. She's gone. The jowls are going, look. See? I believe it. <laughs> mm. There you go. You've got, to, you've got to eat the whole thing. You can't, no, you can't get rid of it. I now. can't swallow. <laughs> Dean, look. Dean's nothing's even happened to Dean, look. Dean's fine. Oh. Do you want to know something? What? <laughs> Dean didn't even put his in. Oh. <laughs> You've got to now, though. Go on. You gotta do it. You oh. alright, there? Alright. Oh, wee bit sour. Wee bit sour. That's great for hangover. If you're hungover, just have one of them and zings you back away. 
How do you know? When was the last time you were a oh, hangover? I just reckon it would really... <laughs> I reckon it would really zing you away. It would be great. <laughs> How was that possible? <laughs> Hi, David. You okay? Oh, All good? Never met this one before. There you and go. As for the famous Dean. <laughs> no, man, yeah. Long suffering <laughs> and still looking good. It's just, he's just had a really sour, sweet day, but you want one? No, I don't sure. know. You might have a Laura Canada or something. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you all again. You too. I'll be nice down in a second. Nice to meet you for the first time. Is Adam downstairs? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be down in a minute. have a few sherbets, as they say. Ah, okay, I'll be down <laughs> in a second. Good to see you, David. There you go. Nice David and Anne Elton are over. Oh, it tastes like farts. It's horrible. How is that possible? <laughs> Do you just say they taste like farts? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cherry flavour. <laughs> <laughs> I'll press on your walk. <laughs> what flavour oh, is it, Cherry? Hi, Anne, you okay? How are you? You're all right. good. How are you, Cass? Good, thank Lovely you. How are you? you? Nice to meet you, too. Lovely to meet you, too. I'm just giving them both the sour sweet. How are you? Do you want one? A what? Sour sweet. What's the sour sweet? Just try one, honestly. No, they're, they're, they're gorgeous, Anne, I promise you. A sour sweet? No. No, it's not, it's not that sour, honestly. It's is this quite... another challenge now, Andrew? No, no, it's, it's going with the cocktails. <laughs> it comes with the, with the cocktail, honestly. It's not. It's not that sour. Okay. Ignore sour, the label. Sour sweet followed by uh, <laughs> yeah. the tonic. Now I bet you you're going to watch my face or something after this. No, no, it's, it's nice and sweet. Just ignore the label. <laughs> Honestly, it's lovely. How's it going anyway? You having a good trip? Great. Yeah, we're here since Sunday. Right. Very busy two days. We went up to Kaliasavaki on Monday. Nice walk in Portugal. Uh, we went up to Portugal Cruise yesterday. Right. We spent the day up there. What did you think of Portugal Cruise? Absolutely adored. We were like there the... last September. Yes, I as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, lovely, fabulous place. Yeah. Was so the weather the a bit better up there? The weather, better weather was better than here, yeah. yeah okay. It's much better than here. Yeah. Uh, the weather up there was sunny for most of the day, a little bit breezy, but yeah. it was absolutely fabulous. Do you know what? Yeah, Once you've got the sour off, it actually right. tastes really nice. Anne's ready to try one here. Oh, it's gone in. <laughs> you did? What's yeah. gone? I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll absolutely can't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> What are you it's doing to me? I'm on it. It's gorgeous, yeah. It's like the foul. It tastes gorgeous when it goes in. Oh my god, I'm good. <laughs> oh, you've got to give a thumbs up for Anne giving a, give it, give it a go here. Once it's gone, it tastes nice, I promise. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, credit to you, Anne. Has it been the first two, three layers, four layers, or what? <laughs> Once that initial coating goes, it kicks into a lovely... You better give me a good cocktail after it's this. It's like a way of this original, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a, a shot of whatever not, you like. Are you on live? Yes. Yeah, you're on live. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Move it over here. I didn't know you were on Oh, you're fine, man. Don't That's worry. the same problem that happened with Laura at the time. Everyone's, was, <laughs> everyone's it, saying that you're a good sport. Oh, Anne's so. a great sport. You've got to give a thumbs up for Anne there. Uh, that was brilliant. I'll give you a shot of whatever you fancy. I watch you call We did this, remember, we were in the vault. And yeah. I thought Laura the live and all was finished. And David says, on up your grand. And that is with three sheets now at this stage. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I said things thinking she was all fair. I said, you're so long. <laughs> oh, mortification, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. You okay? That's yeah. Trisha Slater. Trisha Slater, the famous Trisha Slater. You okay? Yeah. I know, it's been a long time. Trisha comments on all of our videos. Nice. Hello, Trisha. Hello, Trisha. Hello, Trisha. Hello, Trisha. 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 Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, yeah we watched good. it all. Simon yeah, Park. Weather was good. Cool. Very yeah. mad. Dude, this is the second Dean, time I have to hand it to you. I missed you the third first time. Third, actually. Yeah. You did everything. I missed you on the last trip. I missed all you the drives, all the slides, yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah. Very well done. Okay. Yeah. The record plaza. Right, nice. It's really nice. A good location. You got everything yeah, around you. Yeah, it's sort of travel. It's yeah. And you eating out in rest of the restaurants and stuff, or? Yeah, I've not been out in off a lot. Yeah. Getting around, getting around. Yeah, getting around. I get Dallas and she's trying to make it for Santiago. Yeah. All works out well. That's because that's the second trip you've done that with, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. It's doable. Everyone online saying hello to you, Trisha. Oh, good. Saying hello. It's on Catherine's channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You are so much. Well, I know you're sitting well, you're down. So stand up. I'm even taller than you think. Yeah. There you go, six foot two. <laughs> Don't ask me to stand beside you because I've been like a little dwarf. Have you been yeah. saved yet? No, it's very busy. Oh, so That's ah, the right, woman of yours. Oh, she is, there. She is so, so busy. I right. the reserve the table downstairs. You can stay down or you can go on that one up. It's up to you. What's that? It's a new cocktail. I don't know what it's called. I have one of them. It doesn't look too sweet. It's like a blackcurrant sour or something. Yeah. Anything. Anything special. A special but whiskey. Okay. Yeah. 283 people tuned in. Oh, very good. Andrew's going to help get some drinks, I think, for everyone. Yeah. That's right. You okay? You having a good time? You're looking as good in real life, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As on TV. <laughs> it's fantastic to meet you again. This one is Thank you very much. I mean, for the first time, I should say. So, I, think we'll we did meet, I think we did meet in the vault. Oh, did? Oh, I think so. Very, very briefly. Very briefly. Sarah very briefly. Uh, your, your sister, Sarah, is it Sarah? Yes. Yeah. 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 Sarah, certainly. Uh, uh, I'll look yeah, I think, but it was it was one of our first trips, but it was our yeah. first time in the vault, so. Oh, oh it was the yeah. shots and all that. Yeah. yeah, that was great. We can say we've met all the family now, can't we? We have met them all anyway. Sarah and your mum. Yeah. Nick Barry. Um, what do you call that? The Laura Collada. Laura Collada. The number one on the menu. Collada. I'm going to go for it. Yeah? yeah. It's a good choice. It looks good. I'll have one of that. What are you on? Uh, what I, think, I don't know, it's like a black currant sour, Laura knows. Right, you'll so. have one of these drinks. Yeah, one, of the, one that's not too sweet. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think that is, but it's not Someone's saying don't take a sweet off Andrew. No. <laughs> Don't trust Andrew. <laughs> so did you get a Guinness Book of Records I'd medal second that. for Don't doing do all that. the slides? We heard a rumour you did all the slides at the Did all the slides, multiple times. <laughs> and wow. I had a headache by two o'clock. You're a, br a brave man. I'm absolutely man. exhausted now. <laughs> brave man. When do you guys go home? Saturday. All oh, right. Saturday. Okay. Yeah, Saturday. Okay. Unfortunately. Goes by. Goes, time flies. Oh, yes. Okay. Just sitting here. Just sitting Goes very quick. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Childs has asked, get David and Anne drunk. That's Do not. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> do not. Sarah knows. I don't do have any, I don't have any control over that bar. <laughs> Laura's very busy. Busy. incredibly busy. Yeah, she is, yeah. Every table was filled and she was working flat out along yeah. with the, the other lady here, you know. It's uh, our first time here, to be honest. We passed by once or twice. Yeah. Either closed or being refurbished. Yeah. Um, but now here we go. It's all yeah. action. Yeah. Yeah. You don't realise, like, when you look at her behind the bar, she's always like, the, she's got like four arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was it busy with chatting? But that's a great sign. I think it has been. Uh, we've not been in to ask Cheltenham's been on, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think it has been busy. I think yeah. it has, yeah. Yeah. Well, we see the Between Patrick's there. Day and Chelsea's yeah. Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think Sunday will be bad. Sunday is going to be bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 to escape. <laughs> or the opposite direction. We're, we're, we're going to climb Tady in our St. Patrick's uh, gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, really good idea to do this that. This is our first time here for Patrick's Day or Chelsea Week. Oh, really? Uh, Ever. Yeah. Yeah. We've always been We've close always to been been never. Just before, just, before, just, just after. after. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. March. And then we usually come in October, September, October. Yeah. But last September there was a heat wave and a clima, so yeah. it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. But like this year, the weather is so. I much think Sunday is going to be bad. Like. Oh, uh, Sunday is going to be. I remember Andrew's live stream from last St. Patrick's Day, and every bar was just like. Yeah. 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 That's why we might go up the mountains to get away from it all. Yeah. <laughs> a little picnic basket and some uh, Red Bull and uh, it's seven got up. A, no, it's got to the stage, though. The Gaelic Corner and all those. Um, David's friend was over here two days ago, and he left. And he said that the Gaelic Corner literally is. The whole it spills city. out of the whole street. Yeah. 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 You know, on Patrick's Day. Yeah. So it's so, I don't madness. Know. Maybe yeah. it'll be avoided. Yeah. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. We're, we're, for, yeah. we're looking forward to relaxing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Sure we will. Anyway, we don't want to, we want to start you, you. No, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Have a lovely over. holiday, though. I'm sure we'll see yeah. you again. Well, we'll see you again. Yeah. Nice to meet you both. Can I ask you what shot you Okay. There is 273 people still tuned in. Thank you very much for watching. Andrew's gone to get some shots in for people as thank yous for doing toxic waste. Kat, can you show us the new buddies beer mats if they're not all stolen already. 
Do you want to run down and grab a couple of the beer mats? There's none on the tables up here. They're on the bar. Right. Yeah. Dean will go and grab a couple. I've seen them. If I can make it down enough. Uh, Garvey was in last year. Well, he might well have been. I can't rem God, I remember. Andrew should have installed a slide from top seating area just in case you don't, <laughs> don't make it all down the stairs. That would have been good. A good slide. It's like a big Tenerife family. It is. It is Tenerife. Everyone gets to know each other. Give your table number, cat. We can send some drinks. I feel absolutely awful to give it to give it out. We're not here for for people to buy us drinks. Um, we're mostly here to support Andrew and Laura and enjoy the atmosphere. And like I said, it's our kind of place. So um, I don't want to give out the table number. Thank you so much for the offer. Uh, but yeah, don't we don't want people buying us drinks. Yeah, no. Andrew looks after us enough anyway. So. Uh, David, Anne and Trisha, a viewer royalty, say hello from me. I will tell them. I'll let them know, Vinny, that you said hello. There's David on the chat again. Great to meet you. It was lovely to meet you too, David. Nice to put names to faces. Um, can you uh, the new beer mat? Dean's gone to grab a beer mat to show everyone. Uh, try and catch up on some comments. Apparently Luton are drawing 3-3 now. Dean will be made up, and Andrew. I bet Andrew was very annoying as a child. <laughs> as a child. It's very annoying now. Did you not watch the live stream with him with the jumper? He just kept saying the word jumper just to annoy me over and over and over. You know, when it, there's nothing annoying about the word, but when someone says it enough times that it annoys you. <laughs> Nothing about um, Thank you, Andrew. nothing about him being annoying as a child. He's just annoying, full stop. So the beer mats. These are Andrew's new beer mats. I hope I'm allowed to show them on this live. So you might want to show them on his channel. But uh, you've got your the Night Strider. Subscribe on YouTube beer mat. They've been used, so that's why they're a bit uh, crumpled. So that's number one. And your other one is your Tenerife's best car hire. It's a nasty one. So just little advertisements for Andrew, really. Good idea, gets the word out. Plenty of people are coming in here that are not subscribed to the channel, so um, helps people realize that he's got other businesses, other things going on, so. Um, Anthony's saying thumbs up. If, it, if you're enjoying it, please do give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the live stream. 271 people tuned in, that is very good for us. Don't normally get viewing numbers like that. Um, what's your plans for tomorrow? Now I do have some quite exciting plans for tomorrow um, but I'm doing it solo. Dean doesn't want to come did you? Um, so, I don't want to, it's just... <laughs> I don't like see if anyone can guess what it is. Uh, you've kind of given it away a little bit there. I'm doing it, Dean's not. See if anyone can guess. Um, advertising is expensive, so why not do it in the bottom? Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Paragliding, incorrect. Do you know what? Dean, who doesn't hate, who doesn't like heights, has paraglided in Tenerife before, and to this day he says, I don't know how I did that. Helicopter ride, no. Parascending, no. Uh, someone saying hi from Skegness. Hello. Never been to Skegness. You do. Paragliding or parascending is not the right one. Cable car up Tady. Mm, could be. Could be. Is that the scan code to send drinks? You just showed by mistake. No, no, it's not. That's the QR code for Andrew's YouTube, which I'm sure I don't need to give to any of you. And. Um, that's the QR code for the Sanasti website, which some of you might need. I don't know, Sanasti.com. But I didn't. I didn't give away the code for the free drinks. I do honestly. It means a lot that any of you would consider wanting to buy us a drink. We really. It's not why we're here. We get looked after well enough by. So thank you, but no thank you. Um, climb Mount Tady to the top. Bingo, someone's got it. I have a permit to climb to the very peak of Tady. 
for tomorrow. So it's cable car up to the upper cable car station, and then it is. People say it takes an hour. Some people take 40 minutes. Some people say it takes two hours. A hike from the upper cable car station to the summit of Tahiti. Only a certain amount of people are allowed to do it in a day. I applied for my permit. Three months ago? Two months ago? Three, I think it was about three months ago and I was tied in that the only day that I could do it was tomorrow. So that was the availability that I had and I'm lucky that it was just for one person. If I'd wanted for Andrew or Laura or anyone to come with me, there was no availability. So um, Dean didn't want to come anyway. So yes, that's my plan for tomorrow. And annoyingly, the permit is for between 3 and 5 p.m. I can go up there. So um yeah i would have loved to have got it done in the morning uh, and then head straight back down but it's for three and five pm which means i'm probably going to be missing dinner which means that andrew and dean are being left says boys will be boys um what's he doing whilst you're doing that he's uh ask andrew and dean yeah. so no yeah <laughs> the boys will find something to amuse themselves i'm sure there's talk of a live stream involving some feet eating fish. I hate fish. <laughs> to raise money for Dean's Marathon charity. So keep your eye out for that. There's, there's talk of that. There's a uh, talk of a Dandori hut. There's talk of. They'll find something to do, I'm sure they will. Uh, how much is the permit? The permit's free, Sarah. So they don't want your money, they just want to regulate the um, amount of people going up there. Now, bear in mind, there are some sort of excursion companies or tour guides that will sell you the package to go up to Haiti and they're charging you for the permit to get it through them. Don't do that. Just go straight to the National Parks for Spain website and apply for your permit there. It's completely free. They just want to know the numbers and they want to know who is going. They don't want your money. Uh, so don't let anyone try and sell you a permit for the top or anything like that. You don't need... I mean, it may, might mean that, that you might be able to get one a couple of weeks in advance if you're going to buy it. But if you're organised and you get yourself together, just go on the National Parks for Spain website and just get a free permit. And I'll tell you for why you want a free one is because there's no guarantee that trails will be open. If there's bad weather, if there's wind, the cable cars will be closed. Now you can hike all the way to the upper cable car station, but that can take an overnight hike. So that's a no. So tomorrow, if it's windy, I could get a message to say cable cars are, it'll be an email, say cable cars are closed. Can't go, I've not lost any money. I just lost the opportunity, does that make sense? Um, so yeah, don't pay for your permit through any of the excursion companies. And if you're going with a tour guide that's going to go and hike up, that's different if there's someone that's going to go and do it with you. If you just want to get the cable car and walk from the upper station to the peak, just get a free permit from the government website. Is it with an organised tour? It's not. Um, I'm just, I've booked my cable car for half two and then my permit is valid from three till 5 p.m. Now I assume that means that I could literally go through, I think the last time I can go through the sort of checkpoint is at half four. Um, now whether that means that I would then be free to um, sort of hike there, watch the sunset up there if I wanted to and sort of hike my way down, I could. I'm not going to. The last cable car down off the mountain is at six. So I've got three hours to get to the peak and back to get on the last cable car down. Hopefully I'll be in plenty of time for that. I've heard it's about a 40 minute hike. I've heard it's going to depend on your fitness levels and obviously you're hiking at altitude. So I have to bear that in mind. Um, you can already feel the altitude when you're in the lower cable car station, that kind of level. So once you get the cable car up, you can definitely feel it um, going up to 3,700 meters. Yeah, yeah. Um, so even at the lower take in the cold air at the lower cable car station, you can feel the altitude. Um, you get breathless a bit more easy. Um, so yeah, 3,700 meters is going to be it's going to be a 
a tough, tough little walk. But I'm going to take the camera with me, so you can all come and do it. So you'll get to the crater and see that. Yeah, going to look into the crater of Tady. You're very, very brave going up there on your own. I couldn't do it. Don't like heights, but it wouldn't stop me from going for a walk. But I've walked Mount Vesuvius. We've walked Mount Vesuvius as well, and Dean bottled it and went back down. <laughs> so does that give you an idea? He doesn't like mountains are a weird thing. He claims they give them it gives him vertigo, and it's annoying because I love hiking. So yeah, um, mountains are a weird one. He feels like he's going to fall, and it makes him go dizzy, and it's, it's just not worth trying it. Um, with regards to going on my own, I don't think I don't think realistically am I going to be on my own. The amount of people that will be up there, I'm going to be in a cable car with a load of other people, and the permit. I think it's sort of maybe 14 people per slot so there'll be 14 other people who are permitted to go and walk up there between the 3 and 5 p.m so i don't think i'm truly going to be on my own and there's obviously the staff working on the cable car stations the staff manning the checkpoint for the permit and everything so i don't truly think that i will be like solo hiking it um, how long are you in Dean Tenerife for? It will be two weeks, but we go home on Saturday. Yeah, go home Saturday. Saturday evening. Um, so will you be able to go all the way to the crater? Yep, that's what uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be sort of, I think there's a flag at the top, possibly. There's some, I'll be standing on the very top Tenerife. The very top of it. Um, and I'll be able to look into Mount Tady basically. It's gonna be really cool. I've done it once when I was about 14, but I can't remember it. So um yeah, very excited. Has anyone has anyone else done it? Um have you been up Sulphur Mountain or Grouse Mountain? In we went up Sulphur Mountain, I think. Did we? I feel like we went up one of them. I might be making that up. Yeah. Oh no, Sulphur is Sulphur. I think I'm getting confused. Yeah, I tried to smell. Is it in a cable car? We've not done a cable car in Canada. Um, we're coming over in a week, and my mate wants to do the paragliding, but he's worried it might run. It might, my run by Chinese. I don't get it. Um, we've done paragliding. We loved it, didn't we, Dean? Even yeah, Dean's on it, scared of heights, Dean. Yeah. Has run and jumped off the mountain, but he won't walk up the mountain. Um, I get dizzy standing on chair, changing a light bulb, so I do hate heights. <laughs> Hello from Liverpool, hope you're well. Oh. Well, we'll be back in Liverpool on Saturday, so we'll see you soon, Craig. <laughs> hope you're well too, hope you're enjoying the stream. I don't know whether to take people downstairs. Very busy. See, look, yeah, yeah, I think it is quite busy. Um, you should get down to do Paris and he has done it. He's done it before. I'm sure there's vlogs of it. Um, post up pics, please. Of Tady, I will definitely post post some pictures. Um, if your dad wins on the bingo, he could pay for a helicopter ride up the mountain oh, with his 400 quid. <laughs> is he going to buy the helicopter or pan the camera around? We can hear familiar voices. I'm just not there. He's gone. He's gone. What, what is Andrew doing? He's going to drink something down. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. That's busy. <laughs> I think we are probably going to wrap up the stream. We've done almost an hour. Um, but we do. We need, we need to go and get some tea. Um, so I think we probably will wrap up the stream here, guys. But please do hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's gone fast, that hour. It flies by when you're on a live stream, honestly, chatting away to people in comments. Um... Yeah, Orcus, no, Andrew's not Andrew's not here. Uh, I think did he come up? Yeah. He's not he even finished up, his um, down, yeah. He's not even finished his night strider. He did come up. Coming up yeah. Oh I'll, I might wait for him to come back up so he can say goodbye to everyone. Who do you think will win the Premier League this season, Cat and Dean? Man City. It's, too much. <sighs> mm, it's 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 so hard to call this year. I I do think Arsenal will bottle it. Don't want them to. You keep getting niggling injuries. I don't want Arsenal to bottle it, but I think they will. In an ideal world, Liverpool would win it. Last season with Klopp, 
Uh, obviously, I would love to see that. Um, and if not Liverpool, then Arsenal. But you just can't, I can't rule out City. Like Dean said, our injury list is racking up. Um, and Arsenal are the serial bottlers. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> they love, they love to bottle it. So, um, yeah. I hope they're casting this live to the TV downstairs. <laughs> they won't be. <laughs> I think the sport's on or something. Um, Bournemouth 4 3. Squads for them. Very good. I don't really keep my eye on this stuff with Everton other than the fact that I know they're probably going down. Just need to keep uh, My son's going to watch my new vest Liverpool on Sunday. He's a Man U fan. Is it at Old Trafford or Anfield? Uh, it's FA Cup, isn't it? So yeah, so is it Old, Old Trafford? Trafford. I hope he has a fantastic time. Uh, no, I hope, I hope he has a bad time, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope he has fun at Old Trafford, but I hope the result isn't what he wants. Uh, my hubby's always wanted to go up all the high buildings on holiday, so when I did, I made sure I spent all his money. <laughs> Um, are you going to the Liverpool game against Brighton on Sunday? My hubby is a Brighton season ticket holder. I don't think they are playing Brighton, are we? Are we? I don't know. But I can't check because I'm on my phone. Can't check these things. Uh, I've not actually got any Liverpool games planned for the rest of the season now, to be honest. I've been five times this season. Four? Four or five times this season. Um, but it's no, Man it's Man U versus Liverpool on Sunday, not Brighton. It was meant to be the Zarbi, Knew you'd say that. Knew I'd say what? Um, Sunday 31st, ah, uh, there you go. I'm not, is, is it at Anfield, Brighton and Liverpool? I think so. I'd love to go, but I just can't, I have to get my tickets through someone else, does that make sense? So even though I'm a member, of LFC, I can't. I try every time to get tickets in my own right, um, and it's just impossible. So instead, I have a friend um, who has a season ticket, and in games that he can't go to, he transfers it to me and my other friend, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, very grateful for that, but it's just so hard to get tickets for Liverpool. So difficult. So, so difficult. Difficult. In many respects, I wish I was an Everton fan because you can go to the game whenever they want because no one wants to watch them. Uh, cup weekend, it might be the following weekend. Uh, who's the eldest, Andrew or you? You tell me. Who's older, me or Andrew? You guys tell me. It'll be interesting to see what people, some people will surely know the answer. Surely. Surely people will know. George is saying that at least 50 people haven't pressed the button. Please do hit the like button if you are watching and you are enjoying the stream. Um, Liverpool women are playing West Ham. Is that the weekend? Not sure. Who's the eldest, Andrew? Are you? I've read that one out. Um, Andrew. Andrew. Is, and is this Andrew's older? Sarah, Kat, baby Andrew. Andrew's older. We think you're the youngest. <laughs> um, Andrew. Andrew. Cat, Andrew's the youngest, Andrew by a mile. See, I don't know whether this is just flattery, but Andrew is the baby. Andrew, the Andrew's child. the baby and the golden child, he can do no wrong. Um, <laughs> Sarah's the oldest, I'm middle. People say I've got middle child syndrome and Andrew is the baby. <laughs> yeah, he's the baby. <laughs> It's funny. I'm flattered though that you think that Andrew looks older than me. He's, there's a good four years between us as well, to be fair. Um, shouldn't ask a woman her age, it's rude. No, to be fair, no one asked my age. Someone just asked who was older, me or Andrew. So, what was number one on your birthday? Oh, God, I don't know. No idea. No idea. I have a 26 steps on who is the golden. <laughs> if they're the, I think the youngest ones always are. They they just are. And my mum won't have it. But he is. 
he is the golden child and Dean's the golden child of his family because he's an only child. Now does Dean give you only child vibes because he does for me? I'm not the golden child. You, who's the golden child if it's not you? <laughs> Apparently he's lashing down in Dublin. Anne and David have been told to tell you that he's lashing, lashing down in Dublin. In Dublin. We're reading. <laughs> oh, terrible. Thank you, Sasha and Simba, for, the, you, Sasha. for the Met Office update. We're not actually thinking about Dublin at the moment, and it won't be for another at least Five 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a middle child too. For the, honestly, the middle child syndrome is a real thing. It's because my sister's the eldest, so she was the first to do everything, the first to go to uni, the first of everything. And then there was me, and it was like, oh, I've been there, done that. And then there's Andrew, who was the last, and he's just the baby. Golden child can do no He could go down for murder, and my mum would still think that he was the sunshine. <laughs> When are you getting married? Mm, it's not on the cards. Welcome to Vegas. <laughs> it's not on the cards. It's just not. It's just not something that we uh, really talk about or think about, is it? Really, just too busy living life. It's still, a lot. Of, I know. It, I'm. I'm at the age now where a lot of my friends get either engaged or they already are married. Um, and I get asked a lot, where's the ring? Where's the, when's the wedding? I'm just not, I'm just not one that, I, if, even if I did get married, I think it would either be in Vegas, maybe not in Vegas, but it would be that type of thing, run off, do it just the two of us, or very few of us, um, and spend all the money on a honeymoon rather than a big wedding. It's not, it's not on our radar, really. Um, that's because mum spoils their boys, as my brother can't do anything wrong. That I hope so. What's your dream holiday destination? Maldives, hands down. Maldives or Bora Bora or um, Hawaii. Love to go to Hawaii. Um, Kat, do you have a jumper like I'm If I get asked that one more I time. I have a jumper. <laughs> I'm the youngest of five, spoiled rotten still. I, don't get me wrong, I am spoiled rotten. There's, n there's no doubt about it, but it's just, Andrew is, if, it's not a bad word to be said about Andrew. <laughs> um, if Dean goes down on one knee, it's because he found 50 feet on the floor. <laughs> literally, literally, and that doesn't bother. Every time we go to Disney, everyone's convinced that there's going to be a castle proposal and all kinds of stuff. No, there's I'll, not. Do there it. is I'll not. Never do it, Disney. No. Every time I go, my friends in work are all like, oh, it's going to be a castle proposal. Yeah, on one knee on the Planet t-shirts. No. no. It's just not. It's just not. Just a bit of paper, guys. Well, exactly. Um, did David ever go from that hot coffee? <laughs> I will have to ask him. Um, totally agree small wedding big honestly it would probably be the two of us or immediate family i think a lot of a lot of pressure gets put on people like to get married by like 30 like that you've got to do it but no you haven't absolutely not absolutely not you spent most of your week walking around with your shirt open now you want to jump <laughs> No, I've got no interest in going to see an Everton game and no, watching it with Eugene. I've tried. No interest at all. No interest we whatsoever. Went to a pre season friendly and she, we walked out at half time because she couldn't be happy. It was raining, it was miserable. Goodison is the most uncomfortable stadium ever. How long have you been together? This will be our 10th anniversary yeah. later this year. Yeah, November, yeah. 10 years. Um, yeah, long time. Long, Deserve long a medal. time. <laughs> um, just think of the amount of money spent on a wedding, you can have an awesome holiday. Well, exactly. Actually, there's a couple that I watch on YouTube who have got engaged and have gone and got married. I don't think I would do it this way, but it's an interesting way. They've gone and got married on a half world cruise. So they've gone on a cruise, they're traveling half the world on said cruise 
got married on board, just the two of them. For 90 days, aren't they? They were on the cruise for like 60 days or something like that. Like, and she's literally said like the amount of money we would have spent on a day at home has bought us a trip halfway around the world. It's like from Australia back again, basically. And a, and a similar mindset, I couldn't, I don't think I could blow that much money on one day. Just don't think I could. Do you want to go and see where Andrew is if he wants to come and say goodbye to everyone? Yeah. Just so that we can get some food at some point this evening. <laughs> Do you ever sunbathe and use the pool around Point Royal Palm? Uh, not this trip because we've not really had the weather. Um, I have been in the pool for swimming purposes. That sounds weird. Um, I've been down to the pool purely to swim, but not to like sunbathe. Um, the pool's nice Andrew and heated. Says he's busy, but he's ready to go for food now. Like. Right, okay. Andrew's too busy, unfortunately, to come and uh, say goodbye to everybody. I think he's helping Laura make some cocktails. So I think we will wrap up here, guys. Would you get married at Anfield? No. Maybe too much money. Too much I money. I'm going to have you there. No, they do weddings in Anfield, right? They do, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do do it, yeah. No, yeah. And at Goodison as well, I think. Yeah, they've got function rooms and stuff in Anfield to do it. They're not pushing you or anything, are they? No pressure, no. Push, push, push. <laughs> I know someone who spent 40k on a wedding, what a waste of money. If that's what you want and that's what you dream of, then that's fine. Yeah. Um, but I can't imagine waking up the day after a wedding and being like, there's 40k gone. Yeah. I just couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine it. I would rather have something that's a bit more dragged out and not in the sense that it's like, I oh, want everything to be all about me for weeks on end. I would just rather go somewhere magic and stay there for a couple of weeks to a month, get married whilst there and turn it into a wedding. Yeah. Come honeymoon and make it spectacular but not with the amount of people and buying food for people that i've not seen for 10 years and it's just not to each their own it's your wedding day spend what you want on it do what you want for it but i can't ever see me having if i have a wedding i can't see it being a conventional conventional like 100 odd guests or whatever i just can't see it um just rather spend that money on travelling. Right, so much of the world I want to see. I just couldn't justify it. Yeah. Did anyone, anyone here have like an unconventional wedding? Like, did you elope, run off to Vegas, go and get married on a beach in Hawaii or something like that? Well, I was nudging my leg. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was nudging me. Um, my husband and I got married in Barbados with immediate family. Best holiday today. See, fraction of the cost of a UK wedding. Um, I'm going to say we're going to round off the live anyway. Desperate. <laughs> Dean's desperate for the loo. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, our little live stream from Buddy's Bar. Um, if you are in Tenerife, make sure you come in, get a drink off Andrew and Laura. Um, and we will see you in the next video. I'm going to let, let Anne and David and Trisha say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Great to be alive again. <laughs> a nice family. A nice riders. Where's the garbage? To be in here every night now. <laughs> yep, that's it now, every night. Yeah. Okay. Cocktails are great, Yeah, the nice ones. Yeah, yeah. Cocktails. I'd recommend Laura. Nice, yes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You heard it here first. The cocktails are fabulous. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.